there's new and heated rhetoric between the U.S. and North Korea. CNN's Will Ripley is live in Pyongyang, North Korea for us. He is the only Western television journalist in North Korea. What's the latest, Will? Hey, Allison. Well, just as President Trump talks about the possibility of a major, major conflict, we're getting the rhetoric ratcheted up here on, in Pyongyang as well. Let me read you this commentary from KCNA, the North Korean mouthpiece. It says, quote, in case a war breaks out on the peninsula, the U.S. will be held wholly accountable for it, no matter who made preemptive attack. This is a week where we've seen a large-scale military exercise here in North Korea with hundreds of long-range artillery fired simultaneously. We saw North Korea release a chilling new propaganda video. Uh, uh, showing a simulated attack on the White House uh, and the Capitol in Washington, also on the USS Carl Vinson Carrier Strike Group using North Korea's land-based ballistic missile, the Pukguk Song-2. And you have North Korean officials on the ground speaking with us here, defiantly reacting to the news out of China that China seems to be more willing now than in the past to work with the United States to try to rein in North Korean leader Kim Jong-un using their economic leverage. Officials here are telling us even though they trade heavily with China, even though China is a major source of this country's oil supply, they say even if China were to pull the cord, uh, pull the plug, they will still continue to build nuclear weapons and missiles, and they will continue to test them because they feel they are entitled to have these weapons uh, to, to protect their national sovereignty. They filed complaints with the U.N. Security Council. Of course, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson chairing that big meeting today with the Security Council. North Korea will be watching it all very closely, Chris and Allison.